uh, the standard is about identifying all factors and multiples for a whole number through 100. You are allowed to use calculators for this and the test tomorrow, tomorrow, so make sure you have that ready to go. 1A says, what is the definition of multiples? You should be thinking multiples are counting by the number. Good job. Multiples are counting by the number. What are the next three multiples of three? When I would count by three, I would count three, six, nine, twelve. I would not count three, twelve, twenty-four to count by three, and I would not count three, five, seven to count by three. Number 2a. 2a says which number is a multiple of 8? Multiple of 8. Multiples are counting by the number. I'm going to think how many times would I have to count by 8 to get to 45? 45 divided by 8 equals 5.62. To be a multiple, it has to be, have a whole number when we divide, and so that does not work. 56 divided by 8 equals 7. Ooh, that's a whole number, so 56 is a multiple of 8. Let's test 73. 73 divided by 8 equals 9.13. Not a whole number, so 73 is not a multiple of 8. 2b asks you to show the math that proves your thinking. You're just going to write... that 56 divided by 7 no you're going to write 56 divided by 8 equals 7 there you go 3a says what is the definition of factors think to yourself factors are the numbers we multiply together to get a product uh uh there you go write it factors are the numbers we multiply together to get a product. 3b wants to know which number is a factor of 78, so we're going to have to make a factor rainbow 78 on top of our rainbow the first two factors of a number are always one and that number one and 78 one times 78 equals 78 two times 39 equals 78 three times 26 equals 78 4 tested on your calculator, 78 divided by 4 does not work, so we're going to put it off to the side. Test 78 divided by 5 because 5 times what equals 78? Not 5 times a whole number. You'll get a decimal, so 5 does not work. Oh, 6 times 13 equals 78. And then we don't have anything on this side that's on this side yet, so we're going to keep going. And you're going to find out as you test those multiples that seven does not work, eight does not work, nine and 10 do not work, 11 and 12 does not work either. So we would test 13 next, but it's already on this side, so we are done. 3C wants you to prove your thinking. Show the math that proves your thinking. So you were saying what times one of these numbers, you tested 10 and it did not work. You tested three, so you said what times three equals 78, and you said 78 divided by three equals 26. Three times 26 equals 78. 78 divided by three equals 26. So three worked. You tested four. You had a decimal when you divided 78 divided by four. Four times nothing equals 78. So that is not a factor of 78. 
Number four wants to know if five is a prime or composite number. Is five a prime or composite number? Show the factor rainbow and explain how you know. Is five a prime or composite number? Show the factor rainbow and explain how you know. First thing I have to do is do my factor rainbow. So I'm going to say five goes on top of my factor rainbow. I always know that the first two factors of a number are one and that number, so one times five definitely equals five. If I test two times what equals five, five divided by two is not going to work. Put two off to the side and mark it off so you know you tested it and it didn't work out. Three times what equals five? Five divided by three does not work out. Put it off to the side, cross it off. Four times what equals five? Or you could say five divided by four equals something. It's not going to work. You're going to get a decimal, cross it off. So one and five are the only factors of five. So we know that five is a prime number. Write your explanation. Five is a prime number because it only has one and that number are the only factors for a prime number. There you go. Now let's flip it on over. We'll finish the back. All right, 5a says draw a factor rainbow to identify all the factors of 40. Put 40 on the top of your factor rainbow. We know the first two factors of a number are always one and that number. So one times 40 equals 40. We could also say 40 divided by one equals 40. Make sure you code this factors of 40. All of them we have to draw that factor rainbow. I've been talking and you can't see the paper. So I coded it. And then I said 40 divided by one equals 40 or one times 40 equals 40. There you go. Now we're going to test two. Two times 20 equals 40. 40 divided by three or three times something equals 40 does not work. So we're going to put it off to the side and cross it off. Four times 10 equals 40, five times eight equals 40. Test six does not work. Test seven, seven times what equals 40 or 40 divided by seven, it does not work. So we cross it off and we would test eight next, but it's already on this side, so we are done. 5B says, which shows all the factors of 40? You've done the work over here, so just check. We have one, two, four, five, eight, 10, 20, 40. One, two, four, five, 10, 20, 40, they left off eight. A is not going to work. B is not going to work. C, I'm checking over here, it's not going to work. D, I have one, two, four, five, eight, 10, 20, 40. Ding, 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 D is your answer. Now we have six A, when you have to find all the factors, what should you draw? You should draw A, factor rainbow. What are the first two factors of any number? One and that number. What? 6C, draw a factor rainbow to identify all the factors of 24. When we have to draw, when we have to identify all the factors of 24, we draw a factor rainbow. So 
24 on top. One in that number, always the first two factors, so one times 24. Let's test two. Two times 12 equals 24. Three times eight equals 24. And you can also put the inverse calculus inverse operation into your calculator, 24 divided by three equals eight. We know three times eight equals 24. Test four times six equals 24. We need to test five. I know that all products that come from factors of, factors that have five as a factor would end in zero or five. 24 does not, so I know it does not work. You could also test 24 divided by five on your calculator and find out that it's a decimal, so it will not work. We would test six next, but it's already on the other side, so we are done. Number seven says, which number is a factor of 18, but not a multiple of six? So these are the tricky ones that we're practicing today in class. Which number is a factor of 18, but not a multiple of six. So the first thing we need to do is find out what are the factors of 18. Can nine be a factor of 18? Nine times something equals 18? Maybe. Is six times something 18? Maybe. Five times something equals 18? Maybe. I want to draw a factor rainbow so I can know the factors of 18. The factors of 18 one times 18 equals 18. Two times nine equals 18. Three times six equals 18. These are the same things as doing the inverse operation. I could say 18 divided by one equals 18. 18 divided by two equals nine. 18 divided by three equals six is for a factor of 18. Let's see, 18 divided by four, it's not going to work. And 18 divided by five, not going to work. So factors of 18, nine is a factor of 18. So I'm going to say, yep, that might work. Is six a factor of 18? Yes, that could work. Is five a factor of 18? No. So I know right away it's not a factor of 18, so it's not going to fit the rest of the rule. It is not a multiple of six. Now I need to think, what are the multiples of six? Multiples are counting by the number. How many times would I have to count by six to get to nine? Or I could say nine divided by six. Hmm, what is nine divided by six? Does it work? think it's going to be a decimal. Take a moment and plug it into your calculator. Did you plug it in? Nine divided by six equals 1.5. Ooh, nine is not a multiple of six. So nine could fit. Is six a multiple of six? Six divided by six equals one. And that does not fit the rule. It is a multiple of six. So does not fit the question. Our answer is A. Number eight, which number is a factor of 10, but not a multiple of five. We're going to find out which number is a factor of 10, but not a multiple of five. So factors of 10, we have 10, one times 10 is 10, two times five is 10, test three, it does not work, test four, it does not work. So we need to see which of these could be a factor of 10. 10 is a factor of 10 and two, seven, mm, not a factor of 10. Two is a factor of 10. Now we need to know which one is not a multiple of five. How many times do I have to count by five to get to 10? Five times what equals 10? 10 divided by five equals two. Ooh, 10 is a multiple of five. So this is not going to work because they want to know which one is not a multiple of five. We're going to get rid of that option. Let's test two. How many times would I have to count by five to get to two? Two divided by five equals 0 0.4. Ooh, 
2 is a factor of 10, but it is not a multiple of 5. So there we go. And number 9, we're going to say, is for a prime or composite number, show the factor rainbow and explain how you know. So factor rainbow for 4, 1 times 4 equals 4, 2 times 2 equals 4, and we're done because we have 2 on the other side. You're going to say that 4 is a composite number because it has more than two factors. There you go. Have a great night.